Today we are looking at the Juice Camp Scrambler build that we did. Originally, the Camp Scrambler comes with a 750 watt, 15 amp that bursts up to 25 amp controller. We have since swapped that out and we have a brand new 5000 watt kit on it. The kit that you purchase can be either from Envy Power or Reason Motor. It also comes with a UKC1 display. Let's start with the piece that I completely built on my own. So this is a custom 72 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And I have a video on building this if you wanna take a look at that. But essentially it has an 80 amp controller that can burst up to 200 amps and the batteries themselves can handle 160 amps continuous discharge. They can burst to about twice that, but I'm never gonna actually reach that. The controller, the Sabvaton 72100 controller, is a 100 amp controller. The controller itself can handle up to 7200 watts when it's not bursting. I did put some motorcycle tires on this. These are Shinko 244. They're sometimes called Golden Boys. So these are motorcycle tires that are sitting on the front and rear. It's a pretty cool setup. I ended up swapping the pedals with some new pedals and put new crank arms on it as well. So new crank arms, new pedals, new battery, new grips, new everything except the chassis and the front forks. Those have remained the same. The rear, I had to do a couple of things on. We have one torque arm on the left side. We have an integrated torque arm on the right side. And then we also have a third torque arm, which is installed right here. So when the motor spins this direction, it's gonna pull this way and it's directly contacting the aluminum frame right here. So we have plenty of things keeping it in place. I tried to purchase a seven speed uh, chain. Currently don't have a chain on it, but that's because the seven speed chain doesn't fit with this massive front uh, cog on it, which is fine. There is a little bit of a mess of cables here. I do want to, to change this up just a little bit. I want to put some type of leather work here. So that's the build. It took quite some time to put together. I spent quite a lot of time getting those torque arms just right. I had to machine down a couple of parts to make them fit. There were some issues with the battery itself. I initially was gonna sling it in the underbelly right here, but that wasn't gonna work. So I had to modify the frame a little bit to be able to put it in here. And I, it had some movement, so I had to even um, put some silicone glue to put it in. But now everything's in, everything looks good, or as good as it's going to for now until I put a cover on it and my wife affectionately calls this bike Frankie. So this is gonna be Frankie the e-bike from here on out. I'm gonna take it on its first ride very soon and I'll bring you along for the ride. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.